Well, the Eric Smart program is done in cooperation with the Hamilton Wentworth District School Board and Theatre Ancaster. And through this great program, students earn school credits and co-op experience, all while having a lot of fun. Tell us more. What the students have in store for this year is Jessica Aldridge and Sam Heath. Hello and welcome to both of you. Nice Thank to see you, you both. Thank you. Um, <laughs> exciting stuff. We're talking about my old stomping grounds up at yes. Sarau yes. McNabb and yes. Art Smart. Uh, first off, let's go to you, Jessica. As yep. a teacher, as a coordinator who kind of oversees and watches all this, what does this what satisfaction does this give you? Oh, it has been the highlight of my teaching career. Mm -hmm. It is, um, we put together the entire show, the kids and I and Sam do costumes. We do the set design, set construction, set painting, all of the elements of theater put in one. So when we put on the show, it is the biggest the most amazing feeling that we've done this all together mm -hmm. and it's um, we bringing together kids from all over the board yeah. um, and they're kids who just love the theater and love to be a part of something big and it's it's been it really has been the highlight of my career and, and of course you get to see them come from sometimes and be shy quiet yes. students to yeah. la -la. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd that come from, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. yeah. We've had students that have have, have never stepped on stage before yeah. mm -hmm. that have now become our stars and have just found their place, and yeah. it's wonderful. Arts is so important, and Sam, you started off in the program. You yeah. were an actress, stage manager, and now you're the head honcho there. Yes. <laughs> you get to tell the students what to yes. do. Yes, yeah. Um, Take us through your experience as arts, uh, with ArtSmart when you were an actress and, and how yeah. that kind of got you going into things. Um, I remember, like, I, I went to McNabb and I was like, okay, I'm going to get into ArtSmart. This is, this is yeah. my path in life. Um, and I remember just being, doing the things that I thought you were supposed to do in high school. I dated the boy on the football team. I was like, went to all the pep rallies and I was like, okay. But I was like, this isn't my this, people. This isn't was my, missing. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I got into that program and it truly changed the course of my life. Like m the most important people I have ever met, I met there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think about who I was as a person and who I am now. And so much of that I owe to ArtSmart and growing up there as a student and then coming back like kind of my, in my early 20s as a stage manager and getting to create a space that shaped me and I loved more than any place in the world. The fact that I get to do that for other people, I'm just, so so grateful and I just yeah I the fact I wake up every day and I'm like okay let's go make theater with some really cool people and a bunch mm. of teenagers <laughs> and that's and, my job <laughs> and Jessica this must give you a great thrill to be able to to hear Sam talk about yes, this absolutely it like to know and to actually see a student that has has felt that way and to know that we have a have a part in that mm -hmm. is incredible like we're, we're, we're changing lives and you think and hope as a teacher that you get to do that at some point, but when you actually see that that is real, it's it's an incredible thing to, to witness. How do, how do kids get involved in ArtSmart? You know, you said this was a goal for you. How did you get involved? What made you take that leap? Yeah, um, I had heard from the auditions because of my, my aunt worked in the school board mm -hmm. and my family was moving to Hamilton and she was like, this is something that you have to do. Um, so students sign up for auditions. They audition to be in the program. Um, same thing if we are production students, they come in and do an interview for the program. Um, and then after that, they get accepted and we kind of hit the ground running in February. Did you have to go through the interview process to, to bring kids in? this year as a as the director yes yeah yeah so so you've been through this i'm sure mm -hmm. as a teacher sometimes yeah. you have to deliver bad news mm. yeah you're not you're not right for this program or we're going a different direction right mm -hmm. another right. life skill that they're learning how was that process for you having to bring these kids in who's going to be a fit for your your play mm -hmm. this year yeah it's it's hard because in theater, you put your heart into yeah, it. Yeah, you really um, expose yourself. Yeah, you yeah, like you it is a really vulnerable position that you put yourself in to be like, hey, this is me. Are you gonna accept me or not? And here's me mm -hmm. singing and here's, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so important in theater to just like count that as part of your experience and part of your story. Like, okay, that was a no this time, but mm -hmm. I've learned from this and I'm gonna grow from this and I'm gonna go get a yes in three more no's, yeah. um, but it's part of it. it yeah. It's all about being persistent and, and learning how to accept the no's and yeah. how to move forward, totally. right? 
Let's talk about this year's production. Let's let's start yeah. with you, Jessica. Yeah. Uh, what what is the name of the the production? So we're doing High School Musical this year. <sighs> yeah, fun stuff. Disney's High School Musical. <laughs> it is great, and we are absolutely having a blast. We're learning how to play basketball on stage yes. and singing and songs and doing the dances that all the kids know and have memorized. And we're so excited because we know the kids and the adults and the audience will be dancing and singing along with us. And that's us. what you want. Yeah. You want something that's interactive and yeah. fun. And in and, and your role, um, Sam, watching how these kids have developed and grown, we're, we're getting close to the end of May. Yes. So a little yep. bit of learning to do. Mm -hmm. Are you happy to see the growth and what's happened so far on stage? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. We did um, a run through of our act one last week. And the first one, you kind of watch them all go, oh, OK, yeah. we're going to go home real, and yeah. we're going to we're going to go learn our stuff. And then they came back the next day and I was just blown away. I was like, I don't know if you all just went home and relearned all your stuff in one night, but they came back the next day. They were like, you watch their brains go, OK. This is a real thing we're doing. Yep. Let's let's buckle down. Let's let's do this. And it's amazing to see the moments that, as a director, I was like, kind of helping guide through. But the moments that also they're just beautiful, creative brains just come up with because it's these roles they they take on and they take so seriously. And you watch them even from auditions where you kind of saw a spark of like, okay, I can see that character a little bit there, and they take that spark within themselves and they just. Blossoms. Explode it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and of course, Jessica, you know, as a teacher and, and performing, being in mm -hmm. front of people, yeah. um, it, it's, it can be very intimidating. It can. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's they're all getting in their groove. Yeah. But the night before and the night of opening night, mm -hmm. what messages are you going to send to them? Because then it's a bit of a different ballgame. Lights, it camera, is. action, man. It mm -hmm. is. We honestly, we, we hype them up as much yeah. as we can before. <laughs> Right, right. But we we remind them that um, it's it's a it's a live performance, and whatever mm -hmm. happens happens. Keep going. But we mm -hmm. want them to just feel the light, the stage lights on them, and feel the audience, and know that their families are going to be so proud of them, and that we are mm -hmm. so proud of how far they've come from mm -hmm. the start of the semester. And we just we just tell them, you know, go out and give it your all. Um, really embrace these characters, have fun, and mm -hmm. just like enjoy it and and mm -hmm. absorb it make sure you remember this experience forever and of course sam you can talk all about the adrenaline adrenaline rush yeah. they are going to feel both before during yeah and even after once it's all done and mm -hmm. rehearsals are done it's like well what do i do now yeah yeah right. yeah there really is that moment where you finish a show where you're like okay i'm exhausted so now i can sleep but you're like oh but now i can sleep now i yeah now I have Sad. nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. But you, you fill that time with something and hopefully yeah. it garners into something else. Uh, before we get going, what's the dates and the times and how can people get tickets? Yeah, so School Cash Online, uh, okay. May 1st, our tickets will be available to yeah. the public. Mm -hmm. um, so opening night is May 31st, 7 p.m. at McNabb. Um, and then we've got shows that first weekend of June there and the second weekend of June, Saturday night, Sunday matinees. And yeah, it'll be High School Musical. It's going to be really fun. So I cannot thank the both of you for coming in so much. It's been wonderful. Have all the best. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So all the you. best. All thank the best. You. And if people want to get involved with the Art Smart, they can go online and figure all that yes, great and stuff. Yes, yeah. if yeah. students talk to their guidance counselors, they can get a hold of us and find out all the information. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. Stay well to both of you. Congratulations. Thank you. High School thank Musical you. taking place at Sir Alan McNabb coming up the end of May. Mm -hmm. Hamilton, as always, thank you very much for joining us. And of course, we want to stay connected uh, with you. So visit our show page at cable14.com and you can be part of the conversations with us on X at THN on C14. Also, you can catch past episodes on Cable 14 and on cable14.com, keeping you connected with the people that make Hamilton a vibrant and engaged community. It's the Hamilton Network. See you next time. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs>